Hello! So in doing research for my reading log, um, I found so much great content to kind of sell the materials and um, give you that kind of sales pitch that makes you really want to read a book. And I found a really great idea um, by the Alameda County Public Library. Um, so they do something that's called First Chapter Fridays. I'm not totally sure if they are the first people to have done it, um, the first people with the idea, or if there were other people kind of creating kids lit content that were previously doing it. But I did discover it through them and they do an awesome job of really choosing fantastic titles and making them sound so interesting and intriguing um, and that's one of the beautiful aspects of libraries and librarianship in that you can kind of give this phenomenal sales pitch to kids um, and the commitment is so much different than if they were going to a bookstore and actually having to spend money on these books so um, it's awesome that libraries offer that experience and that there are so many people just so invested in giving the right title to the right kid but I wanted to try that for one of my books. So this is my choice for historical fiction. It is Free Water by Amina Lukman Dawson. And it was a Newbery and Coretta Scott King Award for 2023. It won both of those and very well deserving. So I, without further ado, want to just start reading the first chapter so you can get a sense of this book. Highly recommend it. It is fantastic and a great, really great book. Chapter 1. Homer. Dogs barking in the forest is extra scary. All their growling and yapping hits the trees and makes it sound like they're coming from every direction. Stokes had sent out the whole pack. He knew we'd try to escape, and his knowing had me to blame. But Ada didn't say that. Eyes wide open with fear, Ada's skinny arms held tight to a tree trunk. She was huffing and puffing to catch air. Homer! She howled it in that way that said, You're my big brother. Now what? I didn't have the breath nor heart to answer her. My mind was still on where we'd come from. Where were Mama and Anna? How could we keep going on without them? Mama had gone back because of me, and now they were both gone. Homer, they're coming, said Ada. Paws crushed dead tree branches. It was enough to bring me back. Run, I said, but it was too late. In the moonlight, I spotted dog ears that pointed straight up. Funny thing was, I knew this dog. Even in the dark, I could see its face, big and round like one of Mama's iron pots in the big house kitchen. Stokes had me feed that big head when he was away watching the fields. I had to do it with my morning work, after collecting milk and eggs, but before watering and brushing down the horses. The dogs ate just about the same food rations they gave us. Lucky dogs. Yet they always stood there, yapping, mean and angry. Ungrateful dogs. Now here, this same dog came running at me like it didn't even matter he'd had the food from my hand. We were strangers. I was a slave, and he was the dog sent to catch me. He sank his teeth into my ankle. Ada screamed. She didn't need to. I was so scared I didn't feel anything but the hot wet of his tongue. With my other foot, I kicked him in his head. He let go, whimpering, then backed away, maybe waiting for his friends before coming at me again. I grabbed Ada, and we ran. There was water nearby. Mama had told us about it. If you don't see me come back, get to the river, she'd said. I didn't take much heed of her instructions at the time. We were going north, and Mama and Anna were coming along with us. Mama said there was a river, but she hadn't told us it wasn't a thing like the sleepy one we knew by southern wind. We heard the water before we saw it. It was night, but the river was awake. We stood on the bank without barking behind us and roaring water in front. It sounds like a hungry monster. Ada likened everything to monsters and angels, but she was right. The water spilled downhill and grumbled like a belly waiting for food, its tongue licking this way and that as it turned and twisted toward the foggy swamp. Lord only knows what happened when it got there, but there was no time for worrying about that. If those dogs met us again, they weren't going to be any nicer. Ada, you know that dream you have about flying, I asked. Even with dogs on our heels, her face was kind of happy that I'd remembered her dream. She nodded. Well, now you get the chance to fly, like you did in that dream. We're going to fly right off this riverbank. Ida considered. Into the water? she asked. I nodded. The sound of dog paws hitting soft ground came closer. But Homer, I can't swim. She said it more with sadness than anything. That's all right. You can do it, I said. But Homer, you can't swim, she said. Before I had a chance to think about that fact, I grabbed Ada's hand and ran toward the riverbank and jumped. So that was the first chapter of 
such a special book a must read i can't recommend it enough and i hope that it maybe has piqued your interest a little to pick up free water by amina lukman dawson so worth the read um really valuable i can imagine this book being so so incredible it's i don't have the words to describe it as you can clearly tell but seriously please consider picking up this book have a good night